Hey, what's going on everybody? Big Country here. Welcome back to Country Living and welcome to The Clone Show. If you haven't seen it yet, we beat our mark for 500 subscribers a week early. Man, thank you very much. You're all fucking awesome, awesome, awesome. There's a little video on the channel as a thank you, so be sure you check that out. That's all I'm going to say about that. But what are we talking about tonight on The Clone Show? We are talking about the Rogue Mechanical Mod. Yeah, man, I've had this Rogue for a couple of months, guys. This Rogue, I mean, I, I, before I even thought about the Clone Show or doing a Clone Show, before I was even sponsored by Fast Tech, I've had this thing for, I'd say, at least two months. And I'm telling you, I, I've carried this thing a lot with me. Um, even before I started getting uh, more mechs and more devices, I had to rotate out. I don't carry it as much these days just because of that reason. But I notice you'll see the little RDA I have on here that's go bad. And it's not the RDA that it comes with. And the up close, you'll see what RDA comes with it and why I chose to put the GoVat into it. But this is a really good, nice performing. I have no problems with it at all. I have, I have nothing wrong with it. I mean, outside of you know the, the paint being cheap, but you know it's a clone, so I can't expect the quality being as good as authentic. I just can't do it. But anyway, that's enough for the talk about this right now. Let's just go down, take a look at it, how it comes to you delivered from the package, and go from there. Huge shout out to Fast Tech for sponsoring this clone show series. And this is the box that the Rogue USA Mechanical Mod comes in from Fast Tech. Yes, yeah, this is Rogue USA, J Mark Designs, a little flimsy cardboard box is all it is. Nothing, nothing special. And it doesn't even come in. It says Made in America on the back. Yeah, if you're going to clone it, if you're going to stylize it, do it all over. And a little Fast Tech holographic sticker right there. You see that? All right, so open the box. The mech mod comes in a felt bag like this, uh, velvet, felt, whatever it is, a little drawstring. And I'm pretty sure the RDA did as well because this come as a kit, but I just don't know where the, that uh, other felt bag is. Get a little bag of goodies, you get a couple of O-rings, you get a couple of gr extra grub screws, and you get a couple Allen wrenches, different sizes, and you get a couple of what looks like maybe... I don't know, single wire, single round wire coils. One, two, three, four, five, six, like eight wrap or so. I don't use them. I, I just left everything in the package when I got it. And again, you get the Rogue USA card here with jmarkdesigns.net and phone number. Other side here is get the mod, get the look. I'm not really sure what that barcode uh, Probably just takes it to the website, I would say. So that's all that comes in the box besides the mech and RDA of course and this here is the Rogue USA mechanical mod combo that you get from Fast Tech this, here is this, is a, this is a black with a skullish design on it and it even has a serial number, it's a J mark right there with serial number 64 and the RDA has a, a train, a steam engine, uh, an engine for a train on the back side says GMVP, and I'm not really sure what that stands for. The thing that I did not like about this RDA is the entire cap is metal. I don't like that. I used it for a little while, and then I quickly used something else. But I will show you what I use. What I've been using this uh, Rogue Mech with here in just a little while. The cap itself, it's it's pretty well done. I mean, I, I just don't like metal around my mouth, my teeth. Uh, anywhere, I hit a bump one day and while I was taking a pull, and sure enough, boop, right smacked in the teeth. It didn't feel good at all. It does have a conical, conical shape all the way up. You can tell from the outside that shape continues on the inside as well. It's not like it's blocked off or anything. Now, I do like the build deck, even though I'm not a big uh, bottom airflow guy. This build deck, when I did use it, it did get good flavor because you know the coils are right above the air, two post style build deck. Nice, uh, it's got a peak, it's got what I, I guess is a peak insulator. It says it's a peak insulator. Double O-ring, pretty good tolerance on the RDA itself. It won't just, like, pop off on you. 
easy to come off, but still strong enough to keep it on there. <clears throat> and it locks into place, watch it. Huh? See, oh, I guess I haven't been locking it in. Get down to the bottom there, and you hear that? It just clicks right into place. So let's just take this off, because I, I don't like, I, I don't use this. Right, so the reason they give you two Allen wrenches in this kit is for one is for the grub screws and the other one is to adjust this 510 pin. Because if you notice this 510 pin, it is so, so very flush and I didn't, I didn't notice this before I, when I, like I said, when I first got this I was still new to Mex. I didn't notice this at all. But look at that. I mean, I'm surprised this thing didn't blow up my damn face. So what I recommend it right now is if you do get this, do not, do not use this Kennedy RD8. Now, they give you an Allen key here because you can't adjust it. It's supposed to be adjustable anyway, so I guess they're seen. But look at this. Look what happens. When you do adjust it out. Come on, damn it. Oh, wrong one. I need the bigger one. <laughs> I had the wrong Allen key in my hand. When you bring it out. See how it's bringing that insulator with it? That's supposed to be. Hang on, focus. There you go. That's supposed to be, I guess, their little safety mechanism. But here's the problem. Watch this pin right here. That's the fire pin. That's the positive pin. It is loose if you do that. You can't, you can't do that. This is portrayed to be adjustable 510 pin, but it's not. You can't do it because if you do that, the, five, the whole positive pin is loose. Now i got to tighten down. Get out of there. Get out of the hole what she said. Um, this positive pin is now tight, but this is flush again. Do not, I repeat, do not use this Kennedy on top of this Rogue. I would suggest using your own hybrid safe RDA and if you do purchase the Rogue, just get just the tube. Do not get the kit. Do not get the kit. And take a look at the mod. You know, there's it's straight. it's a hybrid connection. Good threading on here. It runs smooth. You got the battery vent holes, the air holes going along the top, all the way around it. You got like five different holes, I believe. You can tell I've had this thing for a while, and I use this quite often because it's kind of beat up. Some of the paint's chipped and scratching off. Let's see if I can get you a close up. Yeah, you can kind of see the black. It's easy to see where the, chain, the, the paint's wearing off and chipping off. And again, this comes to clone versus authentic. The clones are never going to be never going to be as high quality as the authentic so I mean you get what you pay for right but when it comes to the performance of this thing I can't imagine the authentic being much better I just know that quality wise they're never as good but when it comes to performance is what I look at performance and safety and I have this is one of my favorites if you look at the bottom here right there the light rogue J Mark Designs USA and this is this was a new when I first got it, this was a new battery switch to me. So you have to, it's you know, it ends in itself. It goes in, it's got that deep uh, battery rattle adjustment. So just use your thumb, and if it's tight, you can just use some tweezers. And uh, put your tweezers in there and just twist it out like this. Pretty easy. And after you get used to it, it's it's no big deal. And you can see look at this fire button here. Oh you see it, it's gonna thread up into the thing, but the further it goes up. It's going to adjust itself so it's got a pretty good throw once it gets up to a certain point it won't screw anymore and then this right here is your adjustable battery rattle and then of course it's got some gap between the the uh gel run here and the firing pin just to prevent rattle and misfiring but it is a pretty easy spring we'll take this apart and look at it here in just a minute but look at the inside of the mod it's got decent threading pretty good doesn't have a battery insulator inside the tube but uh if you well, just make sure that your wraps Battery wraps are not torn or scratched or scraped or anything at all. Make sure they are in good condition before you use any make mod, not just this one or any of them, especially when they don't have the internal uh, additional safety feature for a battery insulator. Back to the switch. Let's take this apart real quick so you can look at it. Just you can see the little on the firing button on the firing pin there. You've got two holes. Just put your tweezers in there and just twist. Hold everything together so it doesn't spring out on you because this is spring loaded. All right, now that we got it out, we'll just leave it on the tweezers. Not spring loaded, but they are magnets. So if you, if you, it, it, can, it can push this thing across the way. It is magnetic. So there's one of the magnets on the firing pin button itself. 
this is the housing and everything goes into it's, it's, it's a square but you gotta be careful with the magnets you can kind of uh, fight you a little bit so we'll hold it back together like that and we'll screw it back in until it's tight and that's it now this is how I've been using this thing I've been using this with the GoVad RDA I love this little single coil GoVad little monster I mean it's just great 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 airflow single coil and this this is the setup that I've been using on this Rogue for the past couple of months just like this and it works out well for me I think the drip tip that I got uh, this little gold flake drip tip just matches well with the setup and it's all black and a little bit of gold and whatever it's just it just it just it works well for me so let's put a battery in and you'll see how this fire button works make sure you don't cross thread it in see you can start screwing in like this use your thumb be careful when you get up to the top use your thumb as far as you can just don't press your the, the friction against your thumb should be enough to get you as far as you need to go right now yeah it's not going no further I don't want to press I don't want to, I don't want to fire this thing so what you want to do is put your pliers in here easy don't press just kind of hold your pliers still to where you can keep your grip without pressing to fire it and just turn it until it's you know locked into place and then fire it up it's an easy fire switch easy spring or magnet ready you know it's it's easy it hits good it plays it, it, it's a good mech I like it I mean it performs well I haven't had no issues with it I've had it for better than two months now and it's just great I really really like this uh, I think this is a really really good mech We've been, we've been pretty good so far. I haven't had to review any mechs that's been, or any clones that's uh, been shitty yet. But let's go back up, vape on a sum, and talk about it, and see if I can figure out some likes and dislikes for you, and uh, let you determine whether or not, A, this is for you or not. What's that? What, what am I dripping? <laughs> Apple Pie from JFM. If you don't know who JFM is, he's a great DIYer. He just, I've been looking for an Apple vape for the longest time. I haven't found one that I like, but he made an apple pie not too long ago, which is amazing. So go to his ELR, check out his recipe. There's a link for him in the description. Go check out his stuff. Uh, great recipe. That's a great, great recipe. Great juice. I love it. Apple pie that I like. An apple jake vape. An apple J, An apple juice. Apple vape that I like. Now, apple juice is apple pie. I don't want to, uh, no one to get confused, but a nice apple pie. Performs well, nice little mech, I gotta, I gotta clean up. Nice little mech, I mean, I don't mind this go back being a little messy. It's all my fault, use your error, but the great flavor from that single coil, it's a big old coil too, I got from uh, Adam underscore wood 86 from the UK. Very, very nice uh, mechanical mod. I mean, uh, like I said, it, it is uh, not the authentic, and I don't even think you can get this color in the authentic, which is another advantage of getting clones is because they come sometimes come in different color options and designs. So that's cool that they do that. Uh, and with the go battle here, it just looks really good. I mean, look at that. I mean, it goes good together. It goes really well. It goes really well. And I, I, I can't, you know, this is one of the ones, my, one of my early ones, one of my early mechs, uh, and it got me the love and model. Of course, my very first one was the V-God. It was my very first one, uh, authentic, of course. Uh, and then I think I got this one shortly after. I think I got another one. A couple other ones just suck. I haven't reviewed those, but I will if I need to. Uh, and, and But just right now, this is one of the good ones. This is another good one, the Rogue USA Mechanical Mod from fast tech so the links will be in the description of this if you're interested in this if it's something that you may be into but please know your battery safety uh, when it comes to mechanical and uh, i noticed on the rda just now in the review that thing 510 pin wasn't even out far enough for i mean it worked luckily i guess because i guess if you screw it in first and then you put the battery in then there's no shortage no cross threading problems but that 510 pin on this thing look at that thing this is the kennedy 24 that 510 is nowhere near far enough for it. So that, I guess I was lucky in that aspect that uh, I didn't blow my damn face off. But I, don't, I just don't like this RDA. Uh, I just don't like it. Don't like it. The metal. Um, that's my biggest con with it is because of the RDA that it comes with. Maybe uh, the actual Kennedy 24 comes with a different style RDA. I don't have that. 
but uh, and the whole thing is not metal, which I don't think it is, because they call by Kennedy and Goon, the Grenadine style drip tips. So that's probably just a, a, a manufactured top cap for this uh, device, and I just don't like it. So that's why I got the Goon. So if they had another, an actual, I guess, uh, barrel or top cap to go on the, the Kennedy 24 that came with the original Kennedy, then maybe um, I'd like the whole kit better. But the kit as a whole, I don't like. Uh, but the mechanical model with the GoVad, I do like. Cause it's, it's not, I mean, it's a tube. I mean, how can you go wrong with a tube? As long as it fires straight and it don't short out in the battery and you have a little bit of, you got your no rattle rattle at all. Um, there's not much, and it's got venting holes, which is a plus. The vent up here at the top. That apple pie, John. That apple pie, John. It's good. It's really good stuff. It really is. Apple pie filling was the, the key to that recipe. I feel I taste it. Mm, really good. That's it for this week's episode of The Clone Show. I hope you enjoyed the uh, visit, the viewing, the look at the Rogue USA Mechanical Mod from Fast Tech. And remember, guys. The FDA is trying to kick our ass. They're trying to control us. I mean, just too much. I mean, I understand some some kind of guidelines. If you're not going to let us go, if you're not going to let us do what we want, then at least don't make it impossible for us to do what we want. You know, regular government, just do what you need to do to make it to where it's legal and not fucking rob us. Don't rape us in the ass too much, please. Anyway, we just need to educate, not humiliate people. We need to educate the community, educate the world on the vapors community. And just share the truth. Share the knowledge and things that we've learned. That's all we can do. That's all we can do and hope for the best. But I do thank you very much for watching and really, really thank you for helping me reach my goal before my 40th birthday. Fucking amazing. I love you guys. Like I said, there's a little special video floating around the channel. Go look for it. Go look for it. Only a couple days left before it's over with. So anyway... Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below what you think about this and if you plan on getting this. Or if you already have it. Or if you have the authentic. And until next video, uh, just keep on vaping and living, baby.